Hey guys, Tom Shu here, also known as AK Freak, and uh, I've got my little project finished for the RGB LEDs um, right here. It's not really in focus because I'm going to try to show you the strip here in just a second. I've got a little circuit board. It's a open source circuit board that I ordered from uh, OSH Park. If you design a PCB or something like that, you can have one made off any circuit. It's pretty cool stuff. Anyhow. The main focus of this little project is a chip called an ATtiny85. And what it does, it lets you load up code uh, programs. It will run, instead of having to use like an Arduino to run your code, because you can't fit an Arduino in your pocket or on your multi-rotor, you can run it, your little programs on these little chips. They're really cool for stuff like this. Um, you can use it for a lot of other pr things as well, servo drivers, um, controlling lamps, whatever you want, but anything small, if you wanted to wear LEDs as fashion, these would be great for that. Anyhow, my idea was to make a set of RGB LED strips that could fit on a multi-rotor. Uh, I was inspired by one of the guys on IRC, and his name um, escapes me right now, and I'll try to put his name in the uh, con uh, comments below. And I'm so sorry that I forgot your name. We only spoke a couple times. Anyhow, um, I'm finished with it. I've got it all wired up. And this thing by default runs at one megahertz. You can overclock it. However, there's some tricks you have to know. Uh, for example, this one is running at eight megahertz instead of one megahertz. In order to get it to run at eight megahertz, you have to set the fuses inside the chip. Uh, in order to do that, you have to use your Arduino board as a programmer. Okay, and then you set it up inside the tools section. Anyhow, that's a, I'm not doing a tutorial, and I just want to show you the state of my little project. So let's go ahead and plug this in. I've got a computer power supply that I use for my bench. Uh, I haven't really converted it yet because I just grabbed the pins off of it. The cool thing about these computer power supplies, if you have any laying around, is that you can get 3 volts, 5 volts, or 12 volts cleanly, real quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in our ground. Let's put in our 5 volts right there. Right, so now I've got power to it. Let's keep it steady there. Alright, cool. Now we've got our power. And let me go ahead and change uh, the exposure on the camera so you can see the actual LEDs doing their thing. It's pretty subtle, but it does do some things. Try this here. There we go. Now, it's basically a default set of codes that I went ahead and changed some of the parameters for the animation and stuff. But it's basically a slow kind of, uh, I don't know, transition between colors and it fades animation back to right, so, or back and forth. So you can see over here is like blues now, it's a rainbow color, then yellows and pinks, and then it goes to blues down here, and then there's reds and pinks, and it just kind of pulses back and forth and it, it just changes to all the different colors. Now, I'm not even completed my code portion of this project, but I just want to get it up and running uh, for testing to make sure that the chip's working right, the circuit board's working right, and I've got some code that will work right for this project. Um, let me say again, the reason why that we started this was that some of the guys out here in Vegas are not running clean flight. You know, I'll, I hope to convert them, but they're running like CC3D and stuff like that. And they don't have that LED code like in Clean Flight. So I wanted to make a small package that I could help people get LEDs for FPV racing on their um, 250 size quads that does more than just, uh, you know, one solid color. I wanted to get RGB LEDs and change some of the code. And uh, I'm also learning C language, and uh, I wanted to play with setting up like police lights and wigwag and all that kind of stuff so here I am with the RGB LED strips and code and little microprocessors and uh, we're learning away so this is where we're at guys and uh, I want to thank you guys for taking time to visit my uh, YouTube channel and until next time we'll see you soon